Doug Karch for MGoBlue.com, joined by Michigan assistant coach Billy Powers. A national letter of intent day has come, and the Wolverines signed seven players. And give us some highlights. What excites you? Yeah, you know, we've got a good group all the way around, but we've added, uh, you know, five guys up front. We're losing four forwards, and uh, really Chris Brown you'd include in that senior group, although he left a year early. And, uh, you know, we've got a couple key defensemen coming in, uh, one from out west and one a local guy. Uh, but both are going to add size, some skill, uh, both over six foot. Um, so it's a, again, it's another exciting time when those letters come in and you look to the future. Um, you know, we, we're very happy with the group all around. Well, let's talk about the forwards. Uh, give us some highlights. Yeah, you know, we've got uh, three kids from the National Team Development Program, um, one from Chicago, JT Confer, who's uh, getting a lot of attention with its upcoming NHL draft, um, Evan Allen and uh, Tyler Mott, two other forwards. Um, Evan Allen is a pure goal scorer, uh, really, really, you know, sniping pucks over there coming into his own this season on that team. Uh, and Tyler Mott, a year ago, led that team in scoring and uh, probably will be up there again in their top three. Uh, really uh, elite guys, you know, playing, you know, at a top program, obviously, right here in Ann Arbor. So, uh, you know, those kids playing college games, you know, they get to play some Division One hockey games as well as the U.S. Hockey League schedule. Um, you know, they're not going to play like freshmen, and that's what we're going to need. Um, you know, out of the U.S. Hockey League, Alex Kyle's a kid in Green Bay uh, who's a top scorer on his team. He had a great offensive year last year in the league, and now he's backing it up again. He'll be a year older, uh, 94 birth date, that uh, he'll be another guy that's looking to be an impact type player. The last forward is Bryson C. and Froney, who's a, a Toronto kid, uh, but who's moved to Cedar Rapids as far as uh, playing junior hockey. Unfortunately, he's, uh, he's had an appendectomy, and um, he's also had a concussion. He's only played four games. I think he has three points in those four games, but we need him to get healthy. But he's going to be a dynamic offensive player, a smaller player, but a kid that put up big numbers a year ago in Toronto. And uh, we're looking forward to you know him getting on a roll in, in the U.S. Hockey League. Uh, Give us some details on the defense. Yeah, and the defenseman, uh, Michael Downing, a local Michigan kid, um, you know, is another guy that is talking, being talked about as a potential first-round pick uh, in the June NHL draft, as long as they have one. Um, but uh, a kid that a Catholic Central uh, kid, um, you know, played two years at a local Michigan high school and then moved out to Dubuque, Iowa to play in the U.S. Hockey League. So this is his second year out there. His accolades are, are, are quite long, um, but uh, guys are going to love him. He's a competitive kid. He's got a mean streak, but he's also got great puck touches. So he's kind of on that line of some pretty elite guys that we've had step in and have a chance of being impact guys. He'll be right in, in, in sync with that. And then uh, Nolan DeJong is a kid from out in Victoria, British Columbia. And it's always nice to get back into BC. Like we've, uh, we've had, as you know, Doug, some terrific kids in the past from British Columbia. We've had a little bit of a, a stall there, and now we're picking it back up with, um, with what we're going to be adding in the future. And Nolan is going to be a great piece, another kid that will be drafted in the NHL draft, which doesn't mean everything, but when you get kids that are in, in their draft year and they're prominent with that NHL draft, it usually means that they're elite players at their level, and Nolan is doing a heck of a job in the BC League. How much does the building help? I mean, do kids walk in and just get wide-eyed in here now? Yeah, you know, I mean, what I like about it is, you know, you've, you've still got the old Yost feel, but you, now it's a little more modern inside, and, and I think that does make a difference. You've got to remember we're competing with some great ranks throughout the country now in Notre Dames and the, and the North Dakotas and the Wisconsins and Minnesotas. So um, this was a... This was a great thing that happened for us, um, and now it really is a spectacle for these kids to walk in the rink. In particular, anybody that's been in here prior to the renovation and then they come in after, it pretty much blows you away. Thanks for your time. Good luck. Thank you.